I recently got this question in the comments of my immersed video. Do you prefer to use this over your physical monitor? It is cool, but the real question is, will you use these virtual screens when you have to do real work? Hey guys, that is a perfect, great question. And it's something that a lot of people are asking right now. Can I actually use like these virtual screens in my day-to-day -day work? When I want to get real work done, do I jump into these virtual screens or do I use my physical monitors? Now, I just want to give my opinion and my personal perspective because I feel like it's dependent on your job and I feel it's dependent on uh, what you do for work and where you do it as well. So my setup is I work in uh, a technology company, I work from home and this setup is really perfect for this virtual monitor setup if you're a person that works uh you know in the office and you want to use an office or you you know work and you want to use it at a cafe it might not work for you but this setup where you're working at home and you really just want a more focused immersive environment and you want to step away outside of your office you want to work maybe in your um, lounge or you want to work in by your kitchen or your living room or you know even outside on the patio this is a really good setup so this is the scenario i'm going to paint you okay now to get this working you need to actually get the app installed on your work laptop this is difficult most work works don't most works most companies don't allow you to actually install third-party applications on their, uh, you know, their assets like their laptop, etc. So you will need to get approval. You can norm normally just apply for approval, and you can get, uh, you know, state of business reason why. For example, you know, um, you can talk to your one up manager uh, and get that so they can install the application. Now, that's the first step. Obviously, if you install it and it doesn't work, then there's some other config that's probably blocking it. Maybe a firewall, antivirus, or some other work software. In my case, I was able to get that access, get the approval and get it installed on my work laptop. And this is important because you need that streamer app installed there. Okay, now the, the next thing is you can just download the Immersed app. It's free on the App Store and install it. You obviously need to create accounts and be comfortable with their data privacy as well, which, you know, um, I read through and it, was, it did sound like it was good as well. It's obviously a smaller company. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is you need to um, you need to get a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. The reason is a wireless keyboard and mouse do work like you can, but you'll be limited to your uh, your office. So if you want to roam around the house and go into different areas, you need to get a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse for the range. Okay, so um, and that's connected to your laptop. That's not connected to the Oculus itself. Now, you you might think oh, I can just connect the Bluetooth keyboard to the Oculus, and you know the and uh, that does work. But the problem is the mouse doesn't work, and there is some updates available which say they do work. But don't even bother. Just yeah, just use it connected to your laptop. The next step is obviously if you're going to do any work you, you're going to attend meetings right and to attend meetings you can't just sit on the meeting you need to actually uh, respond and speak in the meeting so that means your microphone from your laptop needs to be passed through to your headset and this and this doesn't uh your sorry your mark on your quest needs to be passed through to your laptop and this doesn't work at the moment they're working on it but it absolutely doesn't work so what you have to do, which is probably what most people do, is they've got an external headset, a wireless external headset, and you have to actually physically be within wireless distance and use that as a microphone. So have immersed on your face and then have that connected to you and you can talk like normal, but it'll obviously transmit through to um, your laptop. The microphone will transmit through to your laptop and um i have thought about or i have connected the uh, bluetooth um headset the bose headset to my 
computer and tried to use like that but the sound just didn't work properly there was some issue i don't know if it was my headset or you know it was that connection but obviously you got your headset your 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 meta quest headset sound coming through you've got your um your laptop sound so you just need to play around with that okay the third thing is window placements now window placements is a bit weird uh, they did say that they updated it uh for cloud storage uh cloud storage so you can store your windows in a setting but for some reason this is not working perfectly so you do have to spend a little bit of time adjusting your windows to the way you want them and obviously uh, once you go back to your physical monitors sometimes it adjusts where your placement of your monitors like for example i've got two monitors and a, another laptop small laptop and it places it in different areas so you have to set like where's one where's two or else your mouse doesn't actually work properly so that's one annoying thing you have to do and obviously for the different areas itself um, I think what you can do is set it set it up so that it recognizes that boundary and then sets it up like that but in honestly um, once you get it going it actually is a very very effective tool to being focused and being very immersed in that sort of setting so that, uh, not having any distractions especially like programming if you guys do any programming you can have like your code on different windows you can have your browser open with slack uh, stack overflow uh, you can have your email there you can have your teams chat and your outlook as well so in that instance you can actually get quite a lot of work done and be more productive without any distractions and that's probably the biggest benefit here there is the obviously the public setting where you can go and sit there and talk to people but it is really random there's a bunch of kids that come join they start screaming how do i walk what's this blah blah and then there's one person working he doesn't respond or there's a bunch of people talking in like some other language that you guys don't understand so and you have to end up mute, muting them so in that instance it's pretty crap um if there were a private room with a few of your colleagues and you guys knew each other and you're doing some detailed work that would be a lot more beneficial um otherwise otherwise i'm going to be keep on going obviously oh sorry the one thing is you need to have like at your desk i have plugged it into um the the um, power cord because the battery does drain a lot with the headset uh, I also used, um, I don't have an external battery, so that's something that you probably should be using if you are using this tool um, because it does drain obviously a lot of battery if you're sitting there for three hours um, in this environment. And the other thing is, um, the strap so obviously like the the one the strap that comes with it is super pressed against your face and you get like these red lines on the front of your face uh i've tried to adjust the strap but the strap is just not not that great so either get another strap with the external battery on the top or use um you know bobo is one of the companies always referenced or kiwi designs as well to actually connect it to your head uh, but otherwise, yeah, thanks for the question. That's a really great question. And um, hopefully this video helps anyone that's going through um, and using Immerse. I'd love to know um, how you guys are finding it, if you're able to install the application or what issues you guys are experiencing. Obviously, there is a Discord community out there um, that obviously are punting uh, Vaza, the Vaza, you know, um, hardware that they're going to sell. It's got 4K and it's only suited towards Immerse. That's something that, you know, if you guys aren't aware of it, you can check it out. Me personally, I just want to wait for some reviews to come out on YouTube before I pull pull the trigger. I also do not like that they have a membership. Uh, you know, just charge a once or fee for something. And then, um, you know, that's it. I don't like memberships at all. And I do not pay for the pro subscription either. So, um, yeah i just i just don't want to pay another company some more money every month maybe if i use it more we'll see how it goes but that's my feeling that's my personal feeling so hopefully you find it valuable i'll see you guys in the next video cheers